Hello everyone, good afternoon. So today I'm gonna try to show you how to work on the bucket hats that I have been making for a while. I'm gonna show you how to work on the base part first which looks like this. So this is gonna be a frog hat. But the other design is this one which is gonna be a pool hat. So ma the materials we're gonna need for this project are the following. We need some milk cotton five ply yarn in the colors of the character that we are making. We're also going to use a hook. And for me, I always use this 3.25 millimeter one. We're also going to need some scissors to cut the string. Hello everyone! Welcome to my tutorial for today. I wanted to try to show you guys how I make my bucket hats. So, I'm gonna make a Cinemoral inspired character bucket hat. So, I put out this white yarn here so that I can show you guys how I work in it. So, at first, we're going to make nine half double crochets. So, this is how I started. I chain two and then I have double crochet on that second chain from the right. So we'll have one, two, three, four, five, six. Seven, eight, nine. And then we're gonna slip stitch on the first half double crochet. And for the second round, we're going to increase. So we're gonna put two half double crochet for each of the stitches around. So now we're gonna be increasing. So we're gonna chain one. And on that first space, we're gonna put two half double crochets and that's what we're gonna do all around we're gonna put two half double crochet for the second round so by now you may have two half double crochet to each of the nine stitches around for the first increase and after this, we're gonna slip stitch to the first half double crochet, and then we're gonna work on another increase by chaining one. We're gonna put one half double crochet on the first, and then on the second one, we're gonna be putting two half double crochet. And then we're gonna do that around, alternating between one half double crochet and then two half double crochet on the second one. And then we're going to do this up until we reach 9 rounds. So we're just going to increase. So for the next uh, round, the 4th round, we're going to put 1 double crochet, 1 double crochet, and then 2. For the next one, 1 double crochet, 1 double crochet, 1 double crochet, and then you're in case. So I'm going to catch you guys later. So by now you may have made the 10 rounds for the flat circle that we are aiming for. So there should be 2, 4, 6, 8, 10 rounds of increase. And it should have a flat circle measuring 6 to 6 and a half depending on the thickness of the yarn. So I'm going to show you this diagram that I have made. So that you will know if the pattern that you made or the item that you made is the same as mine. So at first we made the 9 half double crochet. And then our first increase is on the second round which is consisting of 2 half double crochet on the same. For the third round, there is 1 at the beginning and 2 on the next. For the fourth, there is 1, 2 at the beginning and then two on the third one and you're just going to do that up until you reach uh, 10 rounds 
And this is another way to explain it. So there should be at first nine half double crochets. For the second round, there's going to be two half double crochet for each of the nine stitches. And it goes from one at the beginning and then two. One, two, and then at the third one, there's going to be two. So this is a diagram that I made. And the diameter, the flat circle diameter should be at least 6 inches or 6 and a half inches. So now that we have achieved all of those increases, we're going to work on half double crochets all around up until we reach 22, including the increases. So we're going to chain 1, and then we're going to half double crochet all around. And what we can do is we can put a stitch marker on the beginning so that it will be separated into 10. And then they're gonna need to add up to about 12 more rounds. So we're just gonna do this all around up until we reach 22 rounds. And then I'm gonna catch up with you later. So now I'm gonna show you another sample of the 22 rounds that we have made so for this one this can be a beanie already but since we're making a bucket hat we're gonna make some increases for the 23rd round so this is how it looks like with 22 rounds to it and since we have put the stitch marker on the 10th round we can just uh, count it from the stitch marker 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12. So there should be 12 more rounds after the increase. So now we're gonna work on the brim part of the hat, which, as you can see from this pool hat, we have about 5 rounds of it. But first, on the 20, 23rd round, we're gonna do an increase. So guys, now that we have made the 22 rounds, we're going on our 23rd. And for this round, we're going to make an increase. So we're going to chain one. And then we're going to half double crochet on the first. And then on the second one, we're going to put two half double crochet. And that's going to be the increase that we're going to make. One half double crochet and then two all around so that we will form the brim part of the bucket hat so we're just gonna have double crochet one on the next and then two half double crochet on the next one alternating between one and two all around and i'm gonna catch up with you after okay guys so by now you may have made the increase for the 23rd round of the hat so what we're gonna do next is we're just gonna add up four more rounds of half double crochet without any increase so we're just gonna chain one and then we're gonna half double crochet all around up until we have added four more rounds for the brim part of the hat and then it should look like this so there are two, four, five rounds. So this is the increase. And then we added up four more rounds right here. And another way of looking at it is in this um, rug bucket hat. So there are about two, four, five increases or five more rounds added to it. So that will make that brim part of the bucket hat. So next time, I'm going to show you guys how I work on the features, the features of this hat right here. Like for this one, frog hat, we needed to make the eyes, the blush, and the smile. I'm just going to show you from the simplest ones up until the complicated ones. So if you want to make a frog hat, you just need to choose 
uh, green color for the base part of the hat. So that is our tutorial for today. I hope that you have followed through and that you enjoyed working on these projects. I'm hoping that my instructions are clear enough for you guys. I just want to share my recipe for this hat since I have been making them for my friends to resell. So goodbye for now.